Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Tuesday, and welcome to Guild Wars 2. We uh, took some time yesterday to create a character, and we are now in the game, ready to adventure as a warrior. My name is Joel Duggan, if you have not figured that out already. Drops for Guild Wars 2 should be live. They should be live now. My channel has enabled the drops. You can do bang drops and chat to get some details about how to connect your account. Thank you, Cosmic, for the link. I appreciate it. And by watching, you can get some in-game rewards. Uh, once you link your Twitch and ArenaNet accounts, or eventually if you decided to pick it up on Steam, uh, I don't know the Steam process because my account is not Steam. But if anybody does know that process, if you could let us know, that'd be great. Had a good time yesterday creating uh, this guy. Hawken. He's a Norn warrior. I made him as big as possible. And not as mean looking as he could have been, but I, th I think he's got some chops. I am still very much getting used to the controls. Uh, I thought in my old MMO days playing WoW, I thought you could spin the camera without touching the ground with your, like, clicking the ground. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, not entirely sure. So the only thing that has come up uh, was a little movement thing about how to uh, go left and right and move around. And uh, I've already changed the keys. <laughs> they had... A and D to turning, and I've moved them to strafe, so I can I can kind of move around quickly with stuff. And then I've got my dodge roll on F, so I've customized a few things already, and I've inverted the mouse for camera stuff. So hopefully we won't be too disoriented. Every year the competition gets younger and tougher. I've heard of a particular hunter that everyone's watching. No matter who wins. It's always an honor to participate. Hey, over here. You don't want to miss a chance for glory, do you? Hunt down game animals and collect trophies. Talk to Thora Griffinbane. That's in the top right-hand corner. Uh, and that's her there. I still feel it's it's weird. I feel like my keys should be con New controlling the camera. New found a curious beast for the event. He calls it Isormir. You don't say. Well, I think we can expect a few more injuries and maulings, then. Uh, talk is... Oh, cool. Is there a hotkey for that? Hail, hero! Are you here to take part in this year's great hunt? Of course I am. Just tell me what needs to be done and stand clear. Hunt down the wildest animals you can find and take trophies from your kills. Present only the finest to Ido the Tanner to prove your worth. Whoever has the best trophy and whose bravery is the greatest will be invited to join the Great Hunt. Newt Whitebear has said this scene's event will be one of the most dangerous, so be ready. I've even heard the renowned Erstagulkin might attend. I look forward to impressing them both after I've earned my place in the hunt. Here we go. Cool. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is turn down the dialogue just a smidge. Uh, we're going to go down to about there. I want it to be loud enough for everybody to hear, but that was very loud for me. <laughs> uh, it has to have been a guy that designed the outfit. It looks uncomfortable. Oh, her her outfit? Yeah, that's. Uh, we're seeing a lot of the the midriff exposed stuff. Oh, okay, so two buttons does roll you forward. Okay. My muscle memory from WoW has come together. Uh, we have hotkeys. We've got one. And then we've got six. Six looks like it might be a heal or something. I would say yes. Uh, the Great Hunt Hunt down game animals and collect trophies. Hunt and collect a trophy from a dire boar, owl griffin sire, or minotaur bull. And is there a map? There's a map! And I'd say that this area 
in green is where we need to go looking for stuff. Cool transition. Skywalter DBZ or DBZ, depending on where you're from. Welcome in. We are just starting with this. This is White Moa. Minotaur Bull. Minotaur Bull. Or owl Griffin, sire. An Owl Griffin would be cool. Am I going the right way? Yes. I imagine I have to go off the beaten path. Dire boar. That looks like a dire boar. Hey, watch where you're planting those big feet. You almost stepped in my trap. I was nowhere near your trap. Somebody needs glasses. Oh, it's got a star. <laughs> oh, the old MMO. <laughs> the thing you want is over here. Never mind looking for the animal. Just look for the green dot. Looks like a super thick witcher. Yeah, that was the idea, uh, the 226. Oh, somebody's got him already. What is that? What's well, dead now? It's hard to aim. I guess maybe he got the loot because he had he had already started fighting it. Well, I'm not new to MMOs. It has been a while though. But uh, we we do avoid backseat gaming, just for everybody that's new to the channel. I do like exploring game design and and seeing if the game. Um, Seeing if the game kind of communicates to you what you what you need. Oh, I see. So that's the edge of the tutorial. Okay. New event. Dire boar, claim your trophy. Map. Orange dot. Okay. So I guess the dire boar spawns quite quickly. Oh, here it is here. Ray? Spirits of the wild welcome you. Uh, present your trophy to the tanner. Where's the tanner? The hunter. 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 Yeah, the camera's a little bit janky. I might have to turn down the sensitivity of it. Do you have to kill all three, I wonder? It says ore. Wait a minute. Collect a trophy from a dire boar. Yeah, ore. I think I've missed my turn off. Nope. Morty is better. Welcome in. Yeah, I want to be able to turn my camera with my keys. The only thing better than a great hunt is a great hunt and a great... Ah, the great hunt. Each year when the season comes, fresh young hunters rise to the challenge. Exhilarating, isn't it? The only thing better than a great hunt is a great hunt and a great moot. Tanner is not her. Hurry up, Ido. I want to get to the moot before Kettle Keg Drainer drinks all the ale. It's hard to get the scale from the map. Hail Hunter! I'm the local leather worker. Ido's the name. Show me your kills, and I'll make them into trophies you'll be proud to show at the moot. 
Pricking, singing, and boasting. I love a good old-fashioned moot. Others save their parties for holidays, but I say every day a lives worth celebrating. Hey, Newt, look at this impressive trophy. Worthy of the great hunt, I'd say. Indeed. You are skilled enough to defeat your prey, and wise enough to revere their spirits. You are worthy to join in this year's great hunt. By my own hand, I've brought the mighty worm as Sormir. He waits above in the plateau for one such as you to challenge him. The great heir Stegalkan watches over him now, waiting for the hunt to commence. When it is time, you and the others will go to the high ground over the valley. There you will face Isormir, and claim victory if you can. I can, and I will. This is where my legend begins. Are you sure those are from the Minotaur? The company heir on the great hunt. Like Let's me. take a look at that camera. New White Bear found a curious beast for the event. He calls it a Sormir. You don't say. Well, I think we can expect a few more injuries and maulings then. Really? Uh, do, 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 do. Camera. That's a little bit better. Yeah, it's gonna be gonna be a little bit tricky getting used to the movement for sure. Uh, luckily most of the advice I give to players was just fixed in a recent patch, i.e. basic options that should have been default and are now. Oh, very cool. Yeah, I changed a couple of things, but not, um, too bad. Yeah, today's release, um, I didn't get over all of the notes, but I wouldn't have any point of reference anyway. But we're playing on the latest patch, um, and I didn't see when I first started. Uh, are people able to activate drops on the channel? You should see, once you've got your account linked, you should be able to see drops to enable them in the chat. Cosmic, if you sent me a message, I did not see it. So we have to go over here. I guess we'll go down to the road. Bye -bye. I thought I had... I thought I had run turned on or off. Every year the competition gets younger and tougher. I've heard of a particular hunter that everyone's watching. Oh, left alt. No matter who wins. It's always oh, an honor a great to hunt. Each year when the season comes, fresh young hunters rise to the challenge. Oh, I see. It just runs you in a straight line. That's not what I want. I guess you're always running. I need to go the other way, I think. It's weird that the map doesn't show which way you're pointing. Death Skull, hello. Oh yeah, I know I knew about movement speeds and mounts so and stuff awesome. like that. Can you walk at all, out of curiosity? That was one of the options, wasn't it? Sometimes I like that for RP. Walk. Yeah, let's do um Did you see the one that charged me? He must have been right. 20 feet tall. Cause sometimes you have those escort missions where you move faster than the NPC. This is this got this is gonna be him here. Nope. That's to my right. Drops look like it's working for now. I had to refresh. Looks like it was already working for the doorknob. Okay, cool. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, hi, and welcome to Guild Wars 2. Thanks very much, Lady Mesocyclone.
RP walk is usually what we call it. <laughs> that makes sense. They're still preparing the hunting grounds. Enjoy the moot. The gates will open soon. I guess I missed my chance. So, this is different than tab targeting because we have to make sure people are in front of us. Looks like it's just one swing until you start getting combos, maybe? Got 70% on the first drop, 30 minutes reward. Very cool. Thanks, sweet Sandy. Appreciate the feedback. I didn't even have time to look for the look at what see what the rewards were today. Your number one auto chains if you hit something. Yep. Okay, cool. Thanks, Nomic. Welcome in, by the way. I'm seeing a lot of new people, which is fantastic. Welcome in. Uh, Joelduggan.com if you want to know a little more. And the dates have, gates have opened. There's Hail air. To the finest hunters of the season. I wish you clear skies. Follow me if you dare. And ready yourselves for battle. It's hard to read when they're always talking. Like, I... How am I supposed to read that May if she takes off? You That's annoying. May Raven bless you with the vision to see. The wound is loose. Holbrecht needs a hero, hunters. This is your chance. Walk with the pack. Can't walk. Gotta run. Things have gone horribly wrong. Are you too sure much you talking. Battle with the strength of. Don't know what I'm doing other than just killing stuff because I couldn't read the quest. Onward to glory. I need a cone on the ground so you can see how far your reach is. Well, that's larger than I thought. What's the pattern here? Well, oh, that's it. Okay. Don't have all the fun. All hail the Slayer of Isomir. Now we turn to the Skullworld's gate as no mere hunter, but a champion. <laughs> it just disappears as you zoom away. <laughs> There's a red line under the skill to indicate what you have targeted as in range of your skull. Thank you. That should be part of the tutorial. What a hunt! I heard about your victory. Very impressive. Thank you. It was a hard-fought battle, and I'm proud of my part in it. An excellent beginning to your legend, friend. You know, a lot of folks around here have problems that need solving. A slayer like you could be a big help. Putting your skills to work sharpens them, and helping others wouldn't hurt your reputation either. Think of the glory. I will seek out these problems and solve them. Then we shall see how my legend grows. So, first complaint is that I didn't read, couldn't read her welcome text that used my name and was probably something cool sounding because she walked away and the text balloon disappeared. Plus, she was saying something completely different than what she was saying in the balloon. And I can't read when <laughs> there's someone talking in my ear. I guess there's the whole, it is a 10-year-old game thing. Uh, we're going to take this down a bit. And 
we're gonna take dialogue down a bit more Character Adventure Guide. The Character Adventure Guide displays additional objectives for your character while leveling. Complete these to earn extra experience. Okay, cool. So like bonus quests. Scouting the area. Completing renowned hearts. Applying conditions. And more. Oh, cool. Let's move those somewhere where we can see them. Oh well. Defeat twin. Okay, cool. So these are just achievements. I'm sure we will start to hit these quite quickly. The great hunt is complete. Speak to this scout to reveal new renowned renowned hearts. Complete. Scout. Experience makes me strong. Scout should be right in front of me. And I have a new weapon. Uh, I for inventory. And is it C for character? Nope. Y for character. No, oh, that's contacts. Mm, 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 mm. Equip. It's just longer. H character cool thank you what is that on the screen somewhere no doesn't look like it This valley is a sacred but dangerous place. Visit the shrines to the spirits of the wild. You'll be tested by both our enemies and the spirits themselves. And look out for extraordinary chances to prove your courage. You honor us all by acting without being called. Cool. Pretty straightforward. There's much ground for you to cover, but you can speed your travels by finding the Asuran waypoints. You may have to pay a small fee to return to them faster than the raven flies. Cool. Uh, Warret106, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Upper left. Oh, it's this one? No, it's party. Does this upgrade to a full account always stay there? Oh, hero. Hero. I was thinking character. H for hero. Thank you. I can clear the icons above the minimap. Thank you. I was going to ask about that. End of dragon's advertisement. Not now. I will look that all up later. Uh, seven primary attributes. Hero panel. Stat increases. Weapon skill unlocked. So this is what I wanted. You've just received a weapon. Your hero panel displays items from your inventory that you can equip as well as your character stats. Open it by clicking the icon in the top left by pressing H key. Thank you. Your stats have improved. Power increased damage. Precision increases critical hit chance, and toughness decreases incoming damage. Vitality increases health. Okay, so power, damage, 
precision and critical hit, hit chance, toughness, armor, vitality, health. Gotcha. Uh, oh, new weapon skill. You've unlocked your second weapon skill. Press 2 or click your second hotkey to unleash your new attack. Do people leave these on your number keys or do you put them on different buttons? Curious in chat. One thing I recommend if you haven't already is to go into options and make sure AOE loot is on. That makes it to where you don't have to loot every corpse individually. Oh, thank you, Launcher. Yeah, that was an option I saw recommended to me, but I have yet to turn it on. Yeah, I don't mind tips for options. Uh, like, menu stuff is fine. Um, weapon skull unlocked. That's everything. Nope. Except. New profession skill. Uh, unlocked at level 5. Fine equipment, you will get fine equipment at level 6. Personal story unlocked, you will get personal story unlocked at level 10. And hero points, you will get 5 hero points at level 9. Okay, that's all for future Joel. And what was the other thing I wanted to look at? Oh, options. AOE loot on interact. AOE loot auto pickup. So those were both checked by default. I did not check those myself. So those are on. The other key that is on is I've disabled double tap to flee whichever double tap to evade I've got it set to a hotkey so I've got it set to F for flee <laughs> I have an MMO mouse so they're all on side buttons oh I see uh, I don't think I have... I've got side buttons, but they didn't seem to be working. My Razor Mouse is finicky. Uh, show all usable object names. It should be on by default for new players. Show all usable object names. I might have turned that off by accident. Cool. Alright, so now we have to go to the hearts. And you can't... Oh, you can go forward. Okay. I was... I, in that last fight with the worm, I wanted a way to close ground. Oh, I went right by it. Find hidden raven eggs and return them to roosts. Defeat... Skelk and destroy their nests. Skelk sounds really similar to the Skettis, I think, from World of Warcraft. Fortune must have called you here. Have you come to see what the eye cannot? Have you come to discover what is hidden by shadow? Sit, listen, hear what Raven has to say. Use Raven's sight to find eggs that have fallen from the nests and return them to the roosts. Slay any skelk you see as they eat the sacred eggs. As much as I like scrambled eggs. So this talk is like, I can just click this on the screen or I can just right click the person. It does the same thing. A pleasure oh, to see you. That's cool. I like seeing the scar, the, um, what are they, um, the char, out and around. Kalava Shadowfang, cool name. Realizing that it says kill lava. <laughs> so... Use Raven Sight. I guess we're just using the Raven Sight anyway.
The rusks contain, contain a pungent mixture of rotting meat, berries, and insects. The many feathers near the feeder show that it, it, it's a popular destination for visiting ravens. Oh gosh, looks like we have a few, few eggs to collect. I'm assuming that we can do more than one at a time. Man, the camera is tough. Do I have any? Oh, I don't have any eggs left. The old gather and replace quest. Uh, all new characters get the waypoints to teleport to any racial starting zone to join with friends. That's the reason Achara may be here. Yes, I remember seeing that in someone's tutorial. I watched a really nice video from Muckluck on YouTube. It was uh, a lot of information all at once, but um, but it's cool that you can go and play with friends and. For your own personal story, you have to come back to your starting zone, but you can still like level up with other people, which is cool. So Cosmic, that means you and I could probably play sooner than later. Once you get access, like you do one quest, you get access to the teleport hub, and then... I shouldn't call it a teleport hub, but I should call it... What is it called? Waypoint. That was loud. I really like the the environment. It's very cool. It's easier to move farther away from the character, but it's easier to see closer up, which is annoying. I might have to bind a key to leaving those windows. So I understood this concept after the sixth or seventh egg. <laughs> I kind of feel like uh, the repetition is a little on the high side. How many of these we got to do? 50? Uh, you can also have four other people in a story instance with you if you are in the same quest. Everyone gets credit. Oh, that's cool. Is it faster if I do one egg at a time or is it better to click more? How much progress do I do if, get if I... Oh, okay. So it's faster if I collect more of the eggs. That's fine. I'm trying to remember how often my camera when I played World of Warcraft was like way up above me, you know? I tried not to be too far away because I like to look at the character. The gathering range could be tighter too. Almost done. The hearts give multiple ways to complete them. Makes sense. Now. 
Nope. Oh man. I am not jumping over there. Uh, I'm not jumping anywhere. <laughs> that was leaving most of my beard on the rock face. Oh look. Oh, the nests are down here, too. I guess that one was finished? Um, oh, I gotta go back up to the lady. I realized today that the size difference between our characters in game would actually be very similar to our height difference should we ever meet in real life. <laughs> That's funny, Cosmic. Nice. I like that her little heart above her head was like filling up as we completed the quest. Fortune must have called you here. Raven smiles on you for tending to his flock. You seek his blessings. Sure. Raven totem. Uh, plus three conditional damage. Unused upgrade slot. Tiny sharpening stone. Enchantment, 15 minutes, gain power equal to 1% of your precision. <laughs> uh, tasty cake. I've traveled far to bring rain Nourishment for 15 minutes. Sees how far you've traveled. Because I think the totem is probably good. Go. I just hit level 2, yes. No, level 3. Raven totem. Oh, she's a vendor now? I thought this was a reward. Never mind. Uh, I have 380 karma. Is karma the... Is that the currency you get from gameplay? Like, just, it's just, you grind out tasks and get karma? Chat? Uh, you'll get a reward from her bounty chest on the right. Honor Raven and be wise. I erode rock, break bodies, and consume cities, yet I am necessary for survival. What am I? Um, water. Correct. Oh. This is it here. Okay. I gotta get used to stuff being down here. All this should be a lot more, like, central, I think. Raven has seen you tending to his flock. He is pleased and impressed with your faith. Come back any time so that I may grant you the fruits of Raven's blessings. 90 karma and coins. Level 3 rewards. Things like bags, weapons, and armor can be equipped. Open your inventory with the I key and double click on equipment to equip it. Take capture points, slay enemies, and earn rewards in the player versus player team battle. Click the crossed swords icon in the top left of your screen to enter PvP, which boosts your level up to 80 for the duration of the fight, in which I would have no idea what I'm doing, so we're not going to do that right now. New profession, fine equipment, personal story unlocked, and hero points. Cool. Wow. 
Is that how tall you are, Cosmic? That's hilarious. <laughs> that, that was like nipple height. <laughs> that was great. All right, so we completed that. Undiscovered Vista. Waypoint. Fallen Ally. Point of Interest. Merchant. Ishi Smites, hello. Welcome in. Uh, Adventure Guide, Volume 1. Scouting the area. 33%. I'm guessing if something was attacking me, I would know. Learn about the area. Uh, mark places on the map that need help. So this was one of these quests, right? So we can go around and do the other ones. Let's just go straight for this one over here. Oh, it's level five. Okay. Uh, level two. Level four. Level three. All right. So clockwise makes sense. Wow. Is mine. These folks are fancy. Learn how to dodge. Can I set like a waypoint? Do we know? You come here. No. I have things to do. Hearts are designed to be an ambient. You can complete one and not even realize it because you were just playing the game. Alt click the minimap. Thank you. And does it show me? Is that the arrow in the top right? That's probably what that's pointing to, right? That's cool. Where are you? Uh. Oh, that ran out of... I mean, I'm going the right direction. I just kind of needed it to get get me part of the way there. I'm finding it difficult to gauge the scale of the map to what we're doing. Lady Mesoclone? Mesocyclone, sorry. Uh, you can do hearts above your level. It's just a suggestion on how difficult it may be. You're underestimating how much I suck and am rusty at MMOs. Uh, but trying harder hearts and viewing vistas in harder areas do give you more experience so you level a little faster. Cool. I think there's a speed up to leveling right now anyway with the, with the 10th anniversary and the patch. Very forgiving game. That's good to know, uh, he beach. To worship bear is known uh, is to know your strength and ferocity. Use force with wisdom, and you will never falter. Have you come for bear's blessing, or are you a vandal like the sons of Vanner, Vanier, Svanier? I think just Vanier, probably a silent S, right? Tell me how I can worship bear. What are the sons of Vanner doing? I'm curious. Here they come. Show no mercy with the Svanir. They'll slit your throat oh. for a laugh. You actually say that like Svanir. Cool. She answered my question. A number of them have attacked bear shrines today, trying to prove their ferocity to Jornet. Jormag? 
I can hear them gathering in the forest for another strike. You know, because I'm a designer in real life, very often in games, font choice matters. <laughs> and this is not the easiest to read. Uh, let them try. I'll show them, I'll show them ferocity or I will risk my life to make sure the bear shrine remains intact. Uh, let's be overconfident. Honor bear uh, and be strong. Okay. So she switched and give me a different quest maybe. Oh, go into the cave. Duh. Orange events are called dynamic events. They randomly happen in the world. They give good experience uh, and can count towards your heart quest. Are these orange? Yeah, this is an orange quest, right? Defend a bear shrine from Sons of Sinners. So that popped up because of how I answered her question, right? That was weird. I decided to stick my head in a rock. I am magically, with no magic ability, headbutting the rock and getting rid of graffiti. <sighs> I thought I was supposed to fight people. Sons of Center remaining. Where are they? Oh, there we go. Whoa, that was fun. Oh, new ability. Uh, I guess we can loot. Did that? I did loot. Now there are generally more event chains happening in your uh, by you can choose to participate in. Very cool. Your valor honors Bear. I, I, I thank you for keeping me safe to deliver her blessing. Uh, to worship Bear is to know your strength and ferocity. I think I've already done that. Um... Right. Disarm bear traps. Feed the cubs fish from the river or fight any sons of Esfanir you meet. Lastly, test your might against a drake or one of bear's acolytes. Lake fish. Fish trap. Mm. Tasty fish. Do I collect it? Where did he get it? No, nope, it just disappeared. Hmm. Are these bear traps or fish traps? Whoa. I guess that's the cub. <laughs> it's like a submarine bear cub. They're so tiny that they go underneath mm. the water. We might be able to see better here. Oh, there we go. Okay. He can eat it from 10 feet away. <laughs> mm. <laughs> like, are you a bear cup or a submarine? Hmm. Was there a bear 
wrestling option? Not that I saw Obumu, no. Uh, bear traps, we are to disable. That wasn't piercing at all. I think I felt that in the back of my brain. Let's turn down effects a little bit. I'm sure after a while I'll get a good balance for what I'm trying to do. Yikes. Or is that environment volume? Uh. Oh, hey. You there, red guy. Bear Acolyte. I'm used to the World of Warcraft kind of like kneel down and loot the body noise. I think that's why I didn't catch it the first time. Hey, Moose! It's just like home! I guess these are just NPCs that are helping out. Or is that a player? No, that's a player. Guild Wars 2 loot system is weird, but in a good way. Gosh, those are still loud. That is ugly. I'm glad you're dead. Level 4! Weapon skill 3 has been unlocked. This is an old thing I did obviously miss. You've unlocked your third weapon skill. Press 3 to click your third hotkey to unleash your new attack. I think it was like a stab. It's like a thrust. Um, banking? Visit bankers and cities and towns to deposit items and view your collectibles. Some items like crafting materials can be deposited from anywhere by right-clicking the item in your inventory and choosing deposit material points of interest points of interest are now shown on your map find them to gain experience and reveal new map locations not a big jumping puzzle guy so i probably won't do much of those but we might check one out all right let's take a look at this sever artery Bleed your foe with a slash. Gash. Bleed your foe with a gash. Hamstring. Cripple your foe with a precise slash. That sounds painful. 31, 31, 47. Savage leap. So that's a great way for closing the gap. Lunge at your foe and strike them with your sword. 78 damage. 600 range. Does it show... No, there's no tele there's no telegraph on the ground as to how to figure that out. Strike your foe with a final powerful thrust that does extra damage and inflicts bleeding against foes between uh sorry, below the health threshold. What's the health threshold? Damage against low health foes. Death threshold is 50%. Okay, cool. Disarm. Oh, it must have respawned. The bear traps are still, like, hurting my head. Do, 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 do. Yeah, they could have done with about half as many of these. Is there another trap somewhere? Is 
so close. Fish trap. Break time when you're ready, says Cosmic. Thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate that. Hope everybody's enjoying the drops in chat. If you have not linked your drops, go ahead and do that. They should be enabled. You can connect your ArenaNet account to Twitch, and then you should see a drop uh, activation above the chat. Welcome, friend. You have defended the shrine and watched after bear cubs. Walk with pride, for bear is pleased with your might. I guess this is just the merchant stuff, yeah. So bear totem. Uh, bear precision. Tall and I don't remember what the raven was. Was the raven precision? Bear is pleased with the help you've provided her children. You have proven your strength to me and anyone else who saw you in action. Return to me soon so that you may bestow the blessings of the bear upon you. Cool. Uh, this isn't a hard rule, but usually the easier the task, the less heart progress. So clicking things like traps is usually the slowest. Makes sense. Uh, we'll, let's go to the house place. That's it. We steal their food. Their god gets hungry. It kills the Grawl. Then we slay the monster in the chaos. Do, 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 do. Not so fast. The brewer's work to hear is this. never done. Traveling merchants. Cool. All right. Uh, as Cosmic mentioned, I take a break once an hour. If you're new to the stream, I just usually go reheat my coffee, maybe grab a snack. Uh, you can grab a friend if you want to bring some in. We are trying to grow the channel. Uh, we are going to be playing Guild Wars 2 for the rest of the afternoon. Okay. Uh, so it. if you want to I'm hang out, you off. Uh, no more I should probably find a spot where there's not going to be a bunch of M NPC chatter. So we'll maybe stand up here and hopefully nothing will attack us. <laughs> I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
Right. <laughs> he like smashes his fists when he's standing around doing nothing. He Beach, thanks very much. Um, and thank you to everybody that's been sending the welcoming messages. I, um, I do get a little bit sucked into new games sometimes that I don't catch everything in chat or have a chance to reply to it. But I've noticed a lot of new people coming in and saying like, hello, welcome to Guild Wars 2, that kind of thing. Really nice of you. Um, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for uh, being so welcoming and patient <laughs> i play these things slow um you're not gonna see any kind of like min maxing from me <laughs> right away um so we did the orange quest are all these orange quests or these are different quests right doesn't give me like a Learn how to dodge. That's probably part of the tutorial, hey? Okay.
Valdus Day, hello. Hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Same in-game name and Twitch? No. Nope. Uh, in-game name is a lot different. Uh, and if you're asking to send gifts, please do not. I appreciate the gesture, but we're trying to experience this on our own without getting too much hand-holding going on. I don't know what they're doing. So, the RP for us is the wolf. You must visit more often. The sons of Esvanyur camp near us uh, like their predators. They use, uh, they are fools sending standing in the open with wolf's pack you can easily scare them off in wolf's name i'll run the pack uh run with the pack and fight off the suns these suns are not great there's a there's a very similar faction in west hill no west wolf's pack and destroy this vanier camp yes force are demented into the wind i'm trying to do that you're talking over your own sentences Stay with Pack. Together you must hunt the sons of Esvanyur, ruin their banners, and free the captured cubs. They've took... They took puppies? Sons of monkeys. Shadowfang and I are on the same quests, it looks like. So that, I was able to use a mouse button. Can you interchange the, the right mouse button with your number one attack? Is that like an auto thing? Run! Be free! What am I attacking? Oh, the tent. He was not that tough. <laughs> Zizer, hey, welcome back. Hope you're having a good day. Um... When a skill has those yellow arrows encircling it, it means it's an auto cast. Oh, okay, cool. Adrenaline surging. Adrenaline surging. Who's the bad guys? There you go. I'm talking to you. So I'm big, but I'm not fast, apparently. Classic. What? Just, didn't you just... Looting enemies. Let's learn about that. Oh, it's an achievement. Loot 10 de defeated enemies. Sometimes enemies will drop items when defeated, indicated by a golden sparkle on the ground. That's nothing new. Interact with these enemies to loot these items and add them to your inventory. Sorry, um, Zizer, if you do orange events in the heart area, they often also help with heart progress. If you do orange events in the heart area. So I don't have... Do I have to select this? I was getting like... Kind of like hand-painted swirls around some places, but not all the time. And I don't know what triggers that. Last time it was a dialogue tree.
If you've heard, uh, if you headed into the wilderness, take care. I've seen some troubling things lately. May Wolf watch over you. Appreciate the goodwill. Uh, there's some combination of buttons and clicking that lets you set most skills to auto attack. Cool. Thank you. Stuff happens automatically if you're in the area. Events are dynamic and pop up whenever. Oh, okay, cool. So if it happens, I'll know, right? I think I've seen that. I'm still getting used to recognizing what's what, right? So these are easy. I'll just wait until one of these bad guys show up and then hopefully that'll progress things a little bit faster. Much like, oh no, you're the, you're the um, tutorial guy. <clears throat> Bear can provide. Those Espanyol scum have uh, that chest locked down. Their dragon magic is preventing me from reaching it. Maybe I can get in. Maybe a dodge roll would let you uh, get you there without a scratch. I'll give it a shot. I think I know how to do this. Aha! I think I got scratched, but that's fine. What do I get? Level five, new profession skill unlocked and rally with the unlocked. Dodge to avoid danger by pressing the F key or by double tapping a movement key. I've disabled the double tap for people wondering. While dodging, you're temporarily invulnerable. The yellow endurance bar above your health drains with each dodge, but it will recover over time. Offhand weapon slot unlocked at level six. Ah, oh, we're not there. Remind me at level six that I have an offhand slot available. Cool. Click. There's some dudes. This is what I want. Solid fight. Oh. It's my destiny. Why are you not attacking? I'm getting there. I'm on North America. Dragon Bond, Dragon Bold, Dragon Bound, Dragon It's in the Discord. <laughs> I don't remember the name One of the challenge show. down. Brand, thank you. <laughs> it said everything but. <laughs> Precise soft focus. Huh. Should probably check my inventory. Server doesn't really matter. Everyone plays in the same one. So what is the purpose of the world then? Um, Gromi Momi. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Oh, that's cool. They have a dragon? I mean, I'm assuming it's a player mount. World is for the server v server game mode. Oh, okay. Thank you. Dragon Heart, if you don't play on the Dragon brand world, missed opportunity. The servers matters for world over world of matchups for now until it's changed. Okay, cool. Are you guys? Yo, you're bad guys. Oh. 
What? <laughs> Did you see that arrow? <laughs> he, he took that hard. I can understand why people would be itching for a mount. I'm having flashbacks of how slow it was uh, working with ground speed in original World of Warcraft. Do, 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 do. Am I at level six? I am at level six. Oh, traveler. I keep on missing the giant flash animation that says you're at level six. Such heart, such loyalty, you are quite the Norn in the eyes of the wolf. Today, wolf howls for you, the true hunter. Cool. So let's look at this. Level six. Uh, click for more information. Offhand. You've unlocked your offhand weapon slot. You can now equip shields, warhorns, axes, swords, and maces in the offhand slot. This is why I chose the warrior because you have such cool weapon options. Uh, weapon skill four. You've unlocked your fourth weapon skill. Press four or click your fourth hotkey to unleash your new attack. Equipped two-handed weapons or an offhand weapon will give you across, uh, give you access to your fourth skill. Oh, so I need to have an offhand weapon for the fourth skill. Cool. Uh, select your reward. Oh, do I want a sword or a shield? What do I have in my inventory? I love that it opens as a separate window, not overriding the one that's in the middle. So, 105 to 117. That's a better sword. What do we think, folks? Shield? I'm pretty... I don't feel like I'm threatened very much. I'm not noticing any, like, near-death experience. I'm wondering if we should stay aggressive. Oh, the sword's two-handed. Where do I see that? Great sword. Two-handed. Gotcha. So, if I equip the shield, I can use it with the sword I have. Or I could, or I could grab the shield. Or I could equip the sword as well. Um, now new players should get the Raptor mount at level 10. It is a limited preview of Ran Van Gander. Van Gander? I, will I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Skills 1 to 3 are main hand skills. 4 to 5 are offhand skills. Unless it's a two-hander. 6 is a heal. That's what we thought. Um... Seven to nine are selectable. Zero is your elite. Cool. Wasn't that what you wanted? Smack things? Yeah. I guess we'll take the sword. The shield, I feel like we can probably just end up buying a better shield later. Raptor mount unlocked at level 10. I don't know whether that, I thought the, I thought the blog post said that was a limited time thing. Weapon swapping unlocked. Personal story unlocked. Okay. So weapon swapping I have set to a hockey. But let's open this up. And... Nice. That's more like it. <laughs> I dig. And if I double click this... Then I get two, two swords. That's awesome. Like you can, you could have like a sword and a mace. You could have a sword and an axe. Anything that's a single hand weapon, you could. That's very cool. Uh, double click to open contains leggings that are more powerful and centered than level five leggings. Um. Fine, light armor. So I only take the heavy ones anyway. Yes. Oh, wow. Now we're getting into the things are going to change mode. Weapon type unusable by your profession. Tiny icy bag. Double click to open. Celery stock. 
Oh, nice. I didn't even realize we had an extra bag. Oh, when did I get a hammer? I don't even remember picking that up. Uh, great sword. 12, plus 12 to precision. That's for critical strikes. 165 to 183. Oh. It looks so cool, but the swords are better. The spirits yeah. of the water hunt with wolves pack and destroy this Fania camp. Force the demented into the wind. Uh, craftable materials can be deposited into the bank from anywhere. Right. I saw that in a muckluck tutorial. So inventory. Crafting material. Deposit material? Is it that? You know, well, I don't want to destroy it. So deposit material goes to my material bank, correct? Yes, thank you. Uh, oh, I've got boots too. Let's try to say somewhat organized. Honestly, at low levels, power is disappropriate, disproportionately powerful. I wouldn't worry about other stats until you start hitting level 40. Yeah, see, that's the kind of stuff that's just not going to be of any real, um, any real concern, I don't think. Outcast waypoint. Camp. I know I'm bo going about this a slightly slower way, but I'm just trying to, um, I guess, learn the different, I guess, not skills, but like trying to get used to combat. So by clicking alt on the map, I've got alt mapped to my walk key. So that's a problem. What would be a good walk key? Maybe C. Oh, that's mounts. Uh, cancel. Let's do... What's a default? Can you clear it? Unbind. Accept. Uh, the doorknob, thanks very much for hanging out. Appreciate it. Wonderful that you're here. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Um... You want to bind Talga Walk and Stow Equip Weapons and then use both when the um, with the Greatsword for a cool walk. Toggle Walk and Show Equip Weapons. I thought I had... I thought I had R set to Switch Weapons? Switch weapons is set to R, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Weapon swapping later? Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, the game did not tell me that, I don't think. Or... 
maybe it's linked to a, a level unlock thing. What is what was the thing that you just mentioned, Zezer? Show equip weapons. Show this they need a search bar in here. Show high chat. Camera. Yeah, there's a few people here, Elkhorn, I agree. Under walk and movement. Alright. Uh, walk and movement. Not seeing it. Miscellaneous. Uh, show draw weapons. Okay. That's cool. Spirit of the Leopard. Oh. The wiki is the search box. Yeah, that's fair. Snow Leopard. There's probably a person around here somewhere. Yeah. It's a pretty cool starting zone. Snow Leopard's followers revere her speed Snow and cunning. Swiftly with purpose. Are you here to honor her? I still don't think they should talk when they've got a speech balloon. Make me into a snow leopard so I can honor her spirit in the hunt. Yes, tell me how I can honor the snow. I don't want to be a snow leopard. Oh, I don't have a choice. Honor snow leopard by walking in her form. Play with her children and heal those who are hurt. Slay the nearby prey and track what you can. Uh, you can't readily see. Are you ready? Sure. Basically wielding a human at this point. Well, now I'm a cat. Well, that's cute. You can smell something hiding inside the bush, but it's too far in to paw out. You could probably scare it out. Snarl at the bush. Sure. This is janky. appreciate the lore, but I definitely would rather be a guy with a sword. Oh, they talk because another person has interacted with them? I don't see the other people. 
they must be outside of my camera view when that happens. Right, I know it's slow, but this seems like it's the easiest way to progress. This looks like it's going to be a shorter quest anyway. Oh wow, that's cool. Remember attacking you. Close to die. Awesome. I can survive guys with swords and hammers, but a moose and a chicken take me out. Uh, dredge tunnel. Appears to be a recently dug tunnel. You cannot sense any movement, perhaps. Uh, oh, I've got to be... I have to be a cat. Run with the swiftness of Snow Leopard. I crept alone into the heart of a dredge camp. I've returned a tale of... Ah, uh, blah, 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 tunnel dug out. Oh, jeez. Gotcha. Sort of. Those guys give a lot of experience on this quest. Let's do that. everything? I think that's everything. No, not quite. Dang it. play with the kittens. There we go. Whoops. Don't kill the kittens. Snow Leopard always acts swiftly and with purpose. You have stalked with grace and killed with precision. Snow what Leopard recognizes you, you are a true hunter. Cool. Mole men. Yeah. They, those are weird looking... They, like, have technology and stuff? I didn't see their face. I was too busy trying not to die. Which I guess we haven't technically died yet. We had a full health depletion, but I had that, like, struggle to stay alive thing, and that seemed to work okay. Um, let's look at this. Praise from the pack. Greetings, Hawken of Fitmer. You have... Pleased Wolf with your force, for, sorry, fee, fierce determination and the help you have given his pack. Come visit the shrine soon. Wolf has many fraternal gifts to offer you. And this is going to be the leopard one. Snow Leopard smiles on you. You have honored Snow Leopard and she was impressed by your skill. Next time you're in the area, come back to the shrine and I will share the bounties of the hunt with you. 
cool. So we're level... What does the arrow mean? Level scaling. Your level has been adjusted to match your area you are in. And we're almost at level 7. Those are all... No, I've got one more left to do. To the road. Well, that was a weird camera angle. Kill the kittens? No, I would not want to kill the kittens. I'm a dog person, but I'm not... I'm not anti-cat. But... Certainly not kittens. This is a cool sort of underground dirt roof situation. Be a fun Minecraft build. Hey, you, over here. Wow, cool. <laughs> there was an adjustment that I saw somewhere. Horizontal position. So does that change when I zoom out? A little bit. Vertical position. I'll play with that a little bit later. Yeah, this is really cool. There's a there's a a button I should mat later on for freeing the camera. I think there's like a battle cam or a free cam or something like that where the camera doesn't pivot around your character. Community had some drama a couple months ago over the accidental in-game murder of kittens by a dev. Oh, really? I'm hoping they were just joking, right? Free cam is PvT, PvP and spectator only, as far as I know? Okay. I didn't look at the tooltip that closely. Where do we cross? I guess here? I know it doesn't matter, I'm just... A little RP is okay sometimes. What be this sparkly thing? Oh, this is a waypoint? I didn't think they'd just be out in the middle of nowhere. I, I anticipated them to be, like, in towns and stuff. So, what does it do? Teleport to... Okay. So I think I've traveled to it on foot, and therefore I have lit it up. Oh no, the other ones are lit up too. I guess I had to travel here, because this was, this was like an squ empty square box, wasn't it? You can choose skills for your mobility, like three to five, etc. Um, close auto target. It's default closed. I've got one of them is auto target. It's number, my number one ability, right? Uh, steal food from the Grawl for Kenny. I don't remember even picking this up. Uh, no. I learn something new every day. 
Are you here to explore the Grawl Cave too? I heard Kenny is going to do the same thing. Maybe one of you will figure out what's going on in there. Tell me about Kenny. I don't remember Kenny, so... There's a Grawl tribe near here holed up in the cave. Kenny and her brother said they were going to the cave to figure out why the Grawl have been acting strange. Well, stranger than usual. What's she planning? Kenny's got Raven's wits about her. She's going to scout the cave, try to learn everything about the Growl, and she thinks there's something else at work here. I'll go talk to her. She's right over there. Well, why didn't you lead with that? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All this time, she's the person I need to talk to is right over here. <laughs> Want to fight a god? Well, a Growl god, but still. Oh, she was the... I turned something into her, I think, unless it's the exact same model. I helped. She helped me with a boar or something. They all activate as soon as you get near and deactivate when you go away. See, I'd rather collect the quest from the, the NPC. That way I know where I got it. I do find that interesting. Orange missions are events. Gives you more XP. Yes, I think we talked about that, but I don't know how I get them. Steel proof. Okay. So is this part of... This isn't part of my current mission. This is... I'm disrupting the worship and this is like a bonus one? Hey! Go! Um, why are you here? Ah, crap. Hold on. I pray to the spirits of the wild. But they want to fight a god? Well, a Grawl god, but still. The Grawl are worshipping something in there that's making them crazed. It's only a matter of time before others go missing. We're going to raid the cave, steal the food, and wait until chaos happens. Why not just go in and kill them? I heard about the hunters disappearing in here. I thought it was just a bunch of dumb axe handlers getting over their heads, but uh, that flying thing is doing something with the Grawl. Oh. Okay. I want to the Grawl to think their god has forsaken them. Those superstitions, superstitious fools will run away from here and camp somewhere else. It's a clever a plan worthy of the Raven. And people need to stop clicking when I'm trying to read. Jeez. It's a clever plan worthy of Raven, if I ever say so myself. Okay. Um... Chat is saying that the orange quests are dynamic quests and pop up as you move around the map. Yellow hearts guide you through the map towards areas where orange events happen. Okay, cool. Thanks, Cosmic. And thank you, chat. Sorry for missing all of that. I think there's a bit of disjointedness with me catching up with chat and making sure that, you know, everything is in context. Just because just there's like six things happens at once and it's kind of hard to, to ask the right questions and sort out the right answers, right? Sacrificial offerings, cave painting. Do I have magical abilities? I'm not a magic guy. So these are food. All these guys need are a candle on their heads. Only WoW players will get that joke. I shall explore all of it. Sticking your head into a cliff might be magical. I mean, I get what it is. It's like in World of Warcraft, you used to kind of rub your hands together whenever you were doing something like that. Oh, I threw... Well, I sort of threw the sword. I threw it, but I held onto it at the same time. I just realized I've got different skills now. Oh, goodness. Overkill. 
What is that? You know they'll find something else to worship. Like a flower or a tree stump. I think a bunch of people that are way OP came in here and just completely destroyed all the things that I'm supposed to work on. So out of curiosity, this erase, is it supposed to be like a, is there a hotkey? I mean, like, I know I can just right click, but like, it looks like the open and close brackets for coding. Uh, you unbound it when you bound dodge to F. I unbound what though? <laughs> yeah, little buddy, I don't have time to look right now. Oh, interact is default F. So it's missing the hotkey. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. So I might want to figure out a different interact button. You know, E is probably pretty good. E is like the Minecraft for inventory. And it's interact on satisfactory, so that's probably pretty good. Um... I'll worry about it later. No! Wrong skill. That was a lot. One thing I will say, you definitely feel slower when you're holding a flagpole. <laughs> <laughs> That's sharp enough to kill people. I get the feeling that the demon thing has already been killed. Yes, E is by default turn, which I've already removed because I don't need it or like it. But thank you. Well, there's something. Nope, that's a person. I mean, right-click does the same thing, it looks like. How long does it take to wash the wall of a cave? Okay. Man, number two should be like the finisher. Smash them. My spirit endures. That was cool. I like it when animations like look like they make sense in MMOs. Your victory here at the caves inspires me. Next moot, I'll sing your uh, of your heroism. Here, let me give you something to commemorate your deed. Level seven. You've unlocked your sound second downed ability. While downed, press two or click the second icon to throw a hammer that knocks down enemies. Vistas unlocked. Vistas are now shown on your map. For find them to see beautiful locations in a panoramic view. Need a black lion chest key, or maybe a stylish backpack? You can purchase those and more for gems in the Black Lion Trading Company gem store. Just click the icon 
to the top left of your screen. I guess this is the real money. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Shall explore that at a later date. Upcoming rewards, raptor mounts, weapon swapping at level 10. Cool. Revered friend, Hakan F. Wittner, I wanted you to know that I've written an epic ballad about your deeds. Connie likes to brag about how the two of you taught the, the Grawl to choose their gods more carefully. Should you find the time to visit me, I'd like to give you a memento of your exploits. And then he just becomes a merchant, right? Cool. All right. So, do we have any new stuff? We have new stuff. So, deposit material, trophy. Uh, double click. So, these are the rewards for the quests, I guess. are the same I think yep cool material Deposit material. Cool. Got a helmet now. Maybe that will make headbutting walls a little bit easier. So I'm not seeing anything else out here. So I think we should head back to the merchant. And maybe even see the commander and see what's up. Because there's also like a scout and some map to be revealed in that direction. Time for a break. Thank you, Cosmic. That's why I'm heading back to town. I'm assuming those red bad guys were just like ignoring me because I'm higher level. Uh, Arena Knight really likes their boxes within boxes. Yeah, no kidding. Like I don't need to double click these little chests just to find out what armor item. Like, shouldn't I just get the armor? Funny, even now and then I managed to beat Cosmic to some stuff. <laughs> That's great. Ah, Cosmic gets to put her feet up, right? There's no level base ignoring. Okay, I guess they were just weren't aggressive, despite the fact that they were red. Alright, uh, again, 
I take a break once an hour. Thanks to everyone for being here. Uh, I'm going to step away from the keyboard for five or six minutes. You should too. Give your eyeballs a rest. Don't forget to refill your water. Grab a snack. Grab a friend. Whatever you'd like. Uh, we'll continue on with I don't know what when we get back because I have to figure out what quests or missions or things are next to do on the agenda. He's obviously stiff. He needs a break. We'll be right back.
All right. Back we are. Uh, Adventure Guide, Volume 1. Scouting the area is still at 33%. Defeating enemies is at 96%. 24 of 25 enemies. Surely we can find somebody or something that looks at us kind of sideways. And we can just decide. Mm, maybe you no longer need to exist. I shall relieve you of your life. You look mean. <laughs> now you're all dead. So I think all that was was just the achievements, which was... Hero, guild. One of these was the achievements panel. Uh, volume two. Oh, there we go. Completed conditions. Man, menus within menus and boxes within boxes for sure. Hiding all of these below the scroll is terrible design. Mm, defeating enemies. Reward. Takes effect immediately upon receipt. Grants experience on receipt. Okay, so these are just experience stuff. Cool. Head this way to discover Goethe's summit. That's probably a waypoint. Vista, or the Raven. Just kicking my router says Cosmic, no worries. That sucks you're having internet trouble. Wow. That is uh, shiny. It's too bad you can't see this, Cosmic. Because <laughs> holy smokes. Yep, that's bright. Very, very bright. That was a decision, that mustache. That was a life choice. Odd Grim merchant what are you selling leather bag I'm assuming none of this is gonna be worth my time nope do I have anything to sell I guess I could sell the hammer like I don't need that I'll keep the two swords just in case I want to try both hands. Bell junk. Can you select more than one? Uh, sell junk button is always useful to hit when you have that window open anyway. Good to know. Double click to sell. Thank you, Zizer. Uh, little points of squares are points of interest named locations. Yep, we caught that earlier. I think you might have not been here. Dragonheart, I'm just playing on my own. Thanks. Let's go see what the personal waypoint is up to. The scout, I think. Oh, maybe we can't leave the leveling zone? Yeah, it looks like we can't go out that way. Do to 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 do do to do. 
Okay. Well. Oh, wait a minute. Did I go the wrong way? Yeah, I went the wrong way. This I'm still getting used to this whole the map and the scale of where I'm going. This is cool. This looks like a fine place for adventure. Hey. Kalava Shadowfang. We've been kind of shadowing each other. The promise of adventure calls us north, but it takes a fierce and wild heart to survive outside of this sacred valley. When you're ready, Test yourself against the untamed spirit of hair. If you can outlast her metal, you may have what it takes to weather the challenges of the frontier. Cool. Oh, I had to rebind interact, didn't I? Uh, miscellaneous? Yes. Ah, okay, cool. Oh, We still have two and a half levels before we can do the whole mount thing. Longhorn Ram. Wow. That's awesome. That is really cool. I've got everything turned up to max, I think, as far as my graphics are concerned. <laughs> She's a bunny acolyte. <laughs> oh, hello. The spirits of the wild welcome you. Take care of bunnies. Linnea you says bunny is scared often. and should be worshipped, just like bears and wolves. Can you help me worship bunny? Does not seem like the sharpest crayon in the box, does he? Samples, samples, samples. Linnea needs fur samples to find the Yeti. But watch out for Svanir and mountain cats. They hurt my lovely bunnies. I saved you some food for injured off. bunnies, but healthy bunnies keep stealing it. Can you Good bring hunting. some to me? Where can I find the rabbit food? I had the food deep in the snow so that bunnies wouldn't find it. Scared bunnies are very powerful when they're hungry. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> Some rabid bunnies. Up for a challenge? One thing I'm not a big fan oh, of is like brother. looping dialogue in games. Find hidden rabbit food around and bring it to Bjarni? Here, hungry bunnies away from anyone carrying food. Oh, I, you just click on them and they run away. Okay. Beat it. Wow, what is that? Veteran Pine Soul. Let's not go over there just yet. Oh, rabbit food. Oh good, let's slow me down even more. That sounds like fun. For anybody not able to, that's sarcasm. And that's annoying. I grow weary of this. 
Oh, good old mailman quests. Gotta love them. Oh, I can move faster. Cool. Very briefly. Yeah, this is uh, such might. tedious to say the least. Did that rabbit just... Really? I'm a Norn. Come on. Anybody want rabbit food? And I don't mean... Rabbit food. I mean rabbit... Food. Spirits of the wild welcome you. What the heck kind of food do those bunnies eat? I don't know. I mean, really just doing this to get the level experience. <laughs> I'll eat rabbit any day, just don't tell my daughter. Nice, Sandy. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had rabbit. I've had deer. I've had moose. As awful as it sounds, I've had dolphin. But it wasn't caught on purpose. It's the kind of thing where, like, they fish for certain things in the Caribbean, and if you catch a dolphin by accident, I mean, it's already been caught. <laughs> Nothing you can do. Faster! Good hunting. No! Son of a... It won't let me smite the bunny. So, out of all this back and forth, one of the things that I've... Oh, come on. One of the things that I'm noticing is that I they need some sort of like targeting on the ground to let you know when you're close enough to something. Oh, come on. All right, what was the other thing that we can do? Finding rabbit who food to scare hungry bunnies away from anyone carrying food. This is just a minefield of rabbit holes. Like, there's no way. I'm surprised I was able to get the first bags back to the guy. Hey, there's Shadowfang. Faster! I do like that about MMOs where you can start to recognize names. I think Shadow Fang is helping me out. Experience makes me 
strong. Thank goodness. And we leveled up. Good stuff. Thank you. I will give this to injured bunnies and make them feel better. I don't like your bunnies in particular. All right. Linnea says I should send you a thank you for your help. Me and the bunnies are both very happy. Thank you. I think Linnea might have a crush on you. Shush. <laughs> Did I get anything for that? No. Uh, level 8 rewards. Underwater combat unlocked. You've unlocked your underwater weapons. You will now be able to use a weapon skill when you are underwater with an underwater weapon equipped. Uh, weapon skill 5. You've unlocked your 5th weapon skill. Press 5. Or click your fifth hotkey to unleash your new attack. It is... Rutch. Charge and strike your foe. Okay, so I've got a way to close ground now with a two-handed weapon. That's cool. Um, vital Iron Spear. Extra health. Two-handed. Or... Metal Aqua Breather. Or do I get both? I think I get both. Right. Sweet. That's always the same. So that allows us I to breathe underwater. And... One sixty five to one eighty three. Vitality or precision. I think I'll take the precision over the vitality. I think we're okay for vitality. I pray to the spirits of the wild. They rarely answer. I think right now it's a subtle indicator. The skill icon number changes slightly if the range if can hit it. Yes, yeah, and someone mentioned that like there's a red bar underneath the icons at the bottom it's really small for me i've got a 2k monitor and so the resolution is is small is the dragon there again i didn't see it uh defeated player fallen ally fallen ally i guess we just continue along the road i do like the chill part of mmos where you are traveling around on foot and walking through these kind of vistas and that is what is that alpine minotaur okay oh my strength increases Oh, there's a target. Ooh, he hits like a truck. Oh, I thought you were helping me. <laughs> Good night. I'm the master of life. <laughs> you mean death. Waypoint. Ding. Oh, you get experience for those too? That's awesome. Really been enjoying the scenery? It's really pretty, yeah. I mean I've got I've got my graphics cranked up pretty high, I think. I still get a frame stutter, like I'm not sure if you guys see that, but the trees when I scroll my mouse side to side, they they kind of they shake back and forth a little bit. But the ground texture and the snow and the, the snowy waterfalls going through the pass were really cool. And I dig the um, atmospheric perspective. Man, you really get a sense of how big the Norn are when you're next to a human. That's cool. 
It's not just the wind and the snow that test you out here. If you're seeking a challenge, take the road north out of the valley. Beware the sons of Svanir. Their dragon cult inhabits the northern area like a dark, violent shadow. Oh, you know who I'm thinking of in terms of the sons of Svanir? It's the Defias Brotherhood from Westfall, I think, in WoW. It's like the first kind of like cult gang that you run into in World of Warcraft. Scouting the area complete. Speak with three scouts in Queensdale, the Matricia Province, and Caledon Forest, Wayfarer Foothills, or the Plains of Ashford to discover more about the local area. Cool. Is that... She's a hunter, I guess. No, ranger? Ranger. Mini Raptor. It's cool looking. I feel like games, video games these days, have got like obsessions with raptors and dinosaurs. Um, Armor Smith. Let's go that way. So, how do we know it's a warrior? Is there like a. Oh, it's, it's the helmet, right? That's the warrior symbol? Uh, Reno 99. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I knew that. We did a two hour, um, did a two hour, uh, character creation stream yesterday. Weaponsmith. Those demon kids, watch out for them. They look like innocent children, but they're really a bunch of rabid wolf pups. Troublemakers, eh? That's an understatement. I keep telling them not to play around my shop, but they won't listen. I've lost count of how many times they've trashed my goods with their horseplay. That's awful. Do you have any goods I can look at now? That's too bad. I better go. Interesting. Do we... I guess I'll have to open my inventory to compare some of this stuff. Uh, our one-handed weapons are like, man, they really don't start off low. Like, I remember in Warcraft, your weapons would be like 10 attack or 15, not 109 to 121. So, mighty longbow, we don't have any ranged. That's a cool idea. Great sword, hammer, mighty harpoon. What's our... Is it telling us what's currently equipped? Great sword. So that's better. No, it's not. Oh, the harpoon is an underwater weapon, right? Seventeen to one thirty-two. These are not much better. I don't remember what that shield was that they offered to give us at the end of the quest. Spear gun, harpoon. Let's buy this. Oh, come on! Really? I'm at a vendor. Seriously? <laughs> like... I guess that is an area of effect, so that's cool.
right, let's buy the harpoon gun. And... I think we're good. That is a long, <laughs> it's a long combo. Uh, Kimmy Mao, Kimmy Mao. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. We sorted that out. There's an event near. I'm assuming the snowballs are for the meddling kids. Kids are wearing her out, so we're now babysitting. It's impossible to look after them all. They won't hold still. Will you help me? If you can't handle them, you shouldn't have had them. Wow. Sure. Keep them busy, entertain them, toss a few snowballs at them. They love that. Just don't let them throw snowballs at anything dangerous, probably like bears. What's the anything dangerous I'm supposed to keep them away from? Um, some of the homesteaders around here have tempers you wouldn't believe just to clear them. And the bees, they're bad tempered too. Bees? Sword away. Come on. <laughs> he, he draws his sword every time. Hold on. Can I? Can't. Can't put it away. Whoops, I missed. So kids, if I start swinging, I need you to duck. <laughs> Imagine a Norn hits you in the face with a snowball, point blank range. Where are the snowballs? right over his head. Oh! Seriously? No, pick up the snowball, not the sword. Can you imagine some guy running around in your snowball fight with a sword like that? <laughs> Parents would have a field day. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Wrong kid. I pray to the spirits, but they rarely answer. You've been a big help around here. I wish you'd stick around, but you look like the wandering type. At least accept a token of my gratitude um, from us merchants. Cleaver. That's a decent 
weapon, actually. I can afford 70. Why not? Let's try to switch it up here. Let's go and let's put that away. Axe and the other single-handed weapon I have is this one. Oh, can I not? Cool. And gauntlets. Yes, yeah, the armor at 21 seems more like the right kind of level, right? Ooh. Getting fancier as the day goes on. Same old, same old. So you can only use the offhand, I guess, with like the other skill. Wow. Cool. So that's just a single hand. And then that's the gap closer. Okay. So it's a little bit different when, than when you only have one weapon, but not by a lot. Spin to win is always great. Yeah, that makes sense. Thanks for the Lurk Storm Dance. Um, what about this guy makes him look like the proper person to hire as a nanny? It's the beard. I mean, Santa Claus vibes, right? <laughs> ho, 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 look out below. I don't know. Um, we are going to... Undiscovered point of interest. I guess we can just go in, in her little house. That's what it was. I say little, not that little. Help the line guard protect the round through the ice steps. Round, road. I might have to make the text a little bit bigger. It's also the end of my day. What be you selling? Turkey. Sell junk. Thanks for the tip on that, by the way. Uh, we don't need those. And I think that's everything good. Yeah, these, these places are cool. It really makes me wish that we had some finer detail in Minecraft. Because you'd have to make this so big for it to look like this. It's doable, but it would be really, really large. Every weapon has a burst skill. They haven't told me anything about burst skills yet, unless that's coming. Gathering. Click for more information. To gather, equip the appropriate tools. Mining picks, gather ore. Harvesting sickles, gather plants. And logging axes, gather wood from trees. The material you collect can craft new items. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to be like a, a weaponsmith. I think that would be cool. You've unlocked your third downed ability. While downed, press 3 or click a third icon on your rally to fight. You're defeated once you uh, the effect ends. Cool. Rewards. We've got a chopper, logging axe, a copper harvesting sickle, and a copper mining pick. I really like that. When I looked up professions uh, and gathering and stuff, 
um, on, um, I think it was the wiki, uh, it said that unlike in World of Warcraft, you, you, you don't have to use these as one of your, not professions, what do they call it? My profession is a warrior. What do they call skills, I guess? Um, but you don't have to waste one on a gathering skill. You can, everyone can gather everything and then it's your crafting skills that you, you later, um, you later, um, can make your choice with, right? Select a bigger interface size to increase text size. So the whole interface has to get bigger? That's too bad. Um, motion blur power. Interface size larger. Hmm. Yeah, I think I prefer it to stay that size. Thanks, though. It was stupid that the tutorial for the F1 got overwritten by the Dodge tutorial? Yeah, like, there's... I don't know. Like, there's... Oh, well, if I'm looking, then it's right there. But, like, that's not really front and center. Immobilize your foes with a flurry of bleeding strikes. Effect increases with the adrenaline level. Oh, I think I remember seeing this in the warrior tutorial that I watched online. I think it was wooden potatoes on YouTube. It was a good tutorial. Um, cause I was trying to decide whether I wanted to be a guardian or a warrior. And so I watched a warrior tutorial armor Smith. Let's see if the armor Smith has anything. Where's he over here? a bad time to be traveling another armor smith that does not wear hardly any clothes the rolling hills the crisp snow this is paradise except for those um dredge digging underground all the time drives my darling lunt mad lunt i'm assuming is a person as long as they stay underground let them do what they want dredge i'll wipe them out and come back for dinner i'm looking for some new armor uh let's do both Bear paws. You sound just like them. Herm? He should be back soon. Smelling the scorched armor and coated in blood. Smelling of scorched armor, sorry. Sounds exciting. Where's the cave? Head across the river and keep going south. When you come to the fork at the road, head right. Or just listen for the screams of dying dredge. Thanks. Are you selling anything good? That is better than what I currently have. Is there a key, friends in chat, where I can preview? There it is. I have to right click, I guess. Clear preview. Oh, so it's the same thing. It's what I'm wearing. It's just. Oh no, that changed a little bit. But they're def everything here is better than what I have. Or almost everything. So yeah, why not? Farewell. <laughs> This is a bad time to be traveling. Nope. Wrong key. There we go. I finally did it. I finally hit like E for inventory. <laughs> uh, the Minecraft brain is real, folks. Equip that and equip that. Looking a little bit more put together.
I don't know what that was. Leggings. Did I not just buy... Oh, maybe I bought two of the same? I guess I bought two of the same. Whoops. Let's put all of you away there. And I guess I can sell the old armor to you. And I guess I don't need the other I've weapon, the do spirits, I? But they rarely answer. A spear I'll keep. Great sword. Dull blade. Yeah, we'll sell you two. Uh, just followed. I'm installing Guild Wars 2 on Steam because I can get the expansions easier. Very cool. Are you new to the game, Glow Dog? Or are you like a coming back after some time away? The low level stuff doesn't have too much variety, but you might get better skins from heart vendors. So are these the heart vendors? Is that what is that what they are? The heart vendors? Are hearts the way that they mark quests in this game, similar to how World of Warcraft uses exclamation points? Heart Karma Vendors. Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you, Zizi. Zizer. I mean, to be fair, you took two hours and 48 minutes this of gameplay to choose the Minecraft key. I'd say that's good going. To choose the Minecraft key? Oh, to, like, the wrong hockey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's the... I'd say that's the cave. Do, 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 do. More places to make my legend. Wow. It's cool. I missed it. I'd say the entrance is probably on the other side. the instructions again. Is there a quest log? Spirits of the wild welcome you. Mine's entrance is across the river. You can't miss it. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that. You underestimate my power. Originally, they didn't have hearts, but people were feeling lost without something to guide them through the map. They serve as an indication of where you should get at your level. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'm assuming it's probably up there. Um, here's something to do while you wait for an event to happen nearby. Right. There's the interest of the mine, I'd say. The 
That is an interesting looking something. Doldenven Doldaven Passage? Mm. You said right. New event nearby? That's good for leveling. What are these guys? Level 6? My destiny. Well, now we know what they are. I thought I had AoE loot on. Did I not have that turned on? Lunt. <laughs> okay. Lunt, uh, another ah, brilliant oh, addition to this. I showed them what happens when I raise a stink. <laughs> Get it? Uh, you can't take a joke. I can when they're funny. <laughs> Poop jokes. That doesn't happen in MMOs. What are you talking about? So this looked like there was an interact button with it, but I don't know what happened. These dredge drive me crazy. You can leave them alone, and the mm. next thing you know, they've built an entire city under your feet and are marching on your lodge. What's in the bottle you've got there? That's not a bottle. That's like a bomb. It's a foul smoke from my fire. Nasty stuff. It makes a great weapon. It's a stink bomb. Can I have one? Okay, I don't think I need a stink bomb. Enough said. You must visit more often. So this looks cool. Like, my gosh, there's... I mean, the camera is stuck. I can't seem to zoom out and look up, which is a pain in the butt. You're gonna look up my nose just because I want to see what's going oh, on. Traveler. I guess it's a drill. You can zoom in and look up. Hmm. Oh, it's just the terrain is just getting in the way. That's fine. Um. Dold Doldevin, Doldevin Passage. It looks like it heads back this way. Uh, did I complete the quest for that lady? Hmm. Sorry if anybody answered in chat. I did not see. Is there a quest log? And there's an option that prevents you from going all the way into first person? Okay, cool. Thanks. <gasps> Enable first person camera. Hmm. 
Enable first person camera. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's a little a little janky, isn't it? I mean, cool for looking around. Neat. Thank you. Uh, H brings up the menu. So H brings up, like, character stuff, and then your quests are in here. Build. Story journal. Crafting. Achievements. Mysteries. Forging a legend. Um, boop, 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 boop. The Great Hunt. So I've already done that. There's an action camera mode as well. Yeah, no, we were discussing that earlier and someone said that it's only in PvP. I keep on forgetting that I don't have to go back to the quest givers to deliver the quests. That's what I keep on forgetting. Thanks for helping all of us homesteaders out. Folks can't stop talking about what a big difference you've made around the lodge by throwing snowballs and killing mole men. Oh, the variety. Come back and visit anytime. Cool. So I guess we're just we're on to the next. Whoa. Black Citadel. Wayfair Foothills. I guess we'll just run up the road. See what's what. And thank you, Cosmic. Yes, uh, let's uh, let's just run up the road here, and then um, I don't think I'll take another break. I think I'll probably just slowly wrap things up here. Uh, one thing that I'm new to is uh guild wars 2 streamers and if there's anybody streaming guild wars 2 that's doing drops today that is of like a similar maybe similar size in terms of followage or maybe they're new to the game anybody that's running a new character maybe then let me know in chat and we'll see what we can do about potentially um sending on a raid you look like i can kill you Oh, come on. I can't climb up this hill. What is this? Oh, you're guarded. Okay. Oh, I thought he was going to fall off the cliff. This is... Oh, neat. Cool. Looks like a glacier. Matty Narmus is doing drops. Cool. Thanks, Zizu. Cool. So that was one of the um, points of interest. Viewed vista. Right. Points of interest are squares. Vistas are triangles. Cool. Reminds me of um, uh, Assassin's Creed. All right. Let's see if we can do this properly. Nope. Overshot.
I do, I'm getting used to the combat, I think. I still want telegraphs on the ground. Like, I still kind of want to aim and release. I know one of my other skills had that, but I feel like they all should have that. Oh, neat. It's cool that he's got like an idle animation. Fun. Just a tip that often goes unnoticed, the very first waypoint in each starting area is available, so easy to check out other locations. Oh yes, no, I knew that, yeah, because um, when I think, I can't remember who I was watching, I think it was probably Muck Luck, but, oh, crap. Try to sneak up on me, that's what you get. Oh, I got mighty leggings out of that. I think we can take... Oh. Man, that's a big jump. I gotta get better at pressing one quicker. Like, I feel like one is like a rapid fire skill. Alright, let's try this again. Not bad. Mostly intentional. About 50% intentional, 50% spam. Why am I having to loot every guy individually? I thought we already took care of this. It was... Auto loot. Loot on interact. Okay. There's lots of dudes up here. Where am I going? This might not be a good idea. You mess with the mountain, you get the whirlwind? <laughs> yeah. There's a fart joke in there somewhere. My strength increases. I'm used to tab targeting, so I'm not really sure who I'm hitting and who I'm not hitting. Let's see how... Let's see. Oh, where'd you come from? You're still alive. I like that number four skill. That's pretty good. All right, so let's just take a look at if I wanted to target this guy and I get close enough, at what point does number two lose its little red number? I know I've jumped that far before. This is definitely going to be a very in-your-face class to play, it looks like. Adrenaline surging! Fun finisher. Thought this was like a point of interest. Hermit's Watch. I probably came up here ahead of a quest and now we'll have to come back <laughs> and do it all again once I have the quest. Yes, I did know about the ranged play for Warrior. Uh, you can do... Is it a two-handed bow only? Right? Like you have to... S no. I can't remember which it is. But you can hold a bow. I know that much. Slight overkill. Wrong button.
But yeah, um, you can do a... Um, you can use a bow as a warrior. But I can't remember whether it's a longbow only or um, the other way around. Do I have to do something to, to interact with this? I don't remember. Warrior has a short bow. Rifle for range. Right. That's what it was. I can't see myself using a gun in this game. I think I'm going to be a little bit more of a fantasy RP guy. But yeah, I thought that was cool. Um, definitely longbow, says these are Cool. I thought it made sense. Like, I thought it was like you had to sacrifice your offhand. Like, you couldn't use a bow and an axe. Like, you had to use just the one. So, like, if I switch to a bow, a longbow, then you get... Um, uh, you sacrifice your, your offhand. Almost to level 10. Yeah, that's right. Maybe we should push on to level 10. So what's happening here? Is this the snowball thing again? Collect Doliac meat? So the events just show up and there's absolutely no explanation. You basically have to look at the menu, right? Like there's no in-world kind of like travel to this person and talk and get the quest. That's a Doliac. Okay. Probably an easy way to get level 10. There are people calling it out or the event is obvious um, what to do. Oh, I see. A new Florida man. Welcome in. One challenge down. Uh, collect Deliac meat for Gareth. Is it Gareth? Yeah. Got a weapon of legend, it looks like. I may have to go and watch, you know, a little bit extra about combat and like proper technique and stuff. I feel like I'm kind of key smashing when I don't have to. You to you stole my Doliac meat. Oh, so it's a group quest? That's cool. Well, that was... I was like, that looks like a tree that's alive, and it is. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. is full. Uh-oh. Uh, I 
Is there anything I can send to deposit material? There we go. Leveling up. Adventure experience for volume one. Takes effect immediately upon request. Grants experience receipt. Cool. So we're at level 10 now. The Raptor. Road test the Raptor for the next 10 hours of gameplay. You can explore Tyria with the help of your trial mount. Upgrade your account by purchasing an expansion or permanently unlock uh, to permanently unlock this mount. Sweet. X. Okay. Personal story, weapon swapping, raptor mount. Level 10. Crafting is unlocked. Masterwork equipment. Personal story, chapter 2. I don't think I've finished chapter 1, have I? Uh, Big Earth the Smith wishes to speak with me. I can find him in home rack. Is that here? Nope, that's back there. Okay, so we've got new story quests. And that's the gate that was closed when we first looked at it a little while. And this looks like old Brack. Whoops. Very cool. So these guys have got axes above or swords above their head. Arctic bee. I remember the story about the bee. Did I not? Uh, did I not complete the event quest? Did that get automatically turned in? Somebody in chat said that I had to turn it in or I'd lose the reward. I don't think I got that shield. Mighty Helm. I think a lot of this is going to be either the same or lighter than what I currently have. Oh, that's better. Okay, hold on. Fancy. That's the same. That's the same. That's the same. Some bracers. They are better. Like it. Feeling sturdier. Uh, if a quest asks you to collect items, you have to speak to an NPC to turn in the items in before the event closes. So it looks like I missed that opportunity, Dragonheart. Because I don't even remember seeing those instructions on screen. You so you told me in chat, which is fine, but I feel like this little window way off to the side, and I'm recalling this now from my early days of trying this game like eight or ten years ago, is that I feel like... Um, it's so small and off in the right hand corner like if it's an important thing to turn in the um to turn in the uh the items like it should be right in here right in the middle you know uh pyro 89 events like that come back so if you have items uh you can redo do i have the items Destroyer silver crafting material that we can deposit. Is that a better helmet? Nope. It's the same. Oh wow. That is better than the greatsword. 183, 184. preview <laughs> nice when i played D D years and years and years ago i was a dragonkin and this is what i had as a weapon 
It was like a big mall. It was fun. Uh, however, I think, speaking of fun, I think I have to wrap it up uh, and uh, pass you all along. Azizer, uh, you mentioned someone that we can raid, I think. Are they family friendly? Uh, I don't mind, but I want to let chat know, just so in case they have small humans bouncing on their lap, if it's something that they have to be wary of. 4K monitors weren't a thing back then. <laughs> That's fair. There's a deposit all... Oh, cool. Thank you. Uh, Matty Narmus has tiny humans dancing on his lap himself. Okay, cool. Appreciate that. If you need to turn into items, the NPC will have a basket on the minimap. I saw the basket, but it's no longer there. They were, it was down here somewhere. But, cool. That's fine. I'm not worried about it. It's such a low-level quest. I'm not, I don't think it's really going to matter. That's okay, Caesar. I think that's that's a good enough recommendation. Uh, they're on a break right now. That's right. We can maybe wait until they're back. Uh, where can we go? In the meantime, let's just walk up the road. It's weird how when I play MMOs, I tend to want to log off in like towns or cities. I tend not to want to just log in in the middle of nowhere. I also like that you can move uh, even though you can't steer <laughs> while you're on the map, which is nice. Oh, cool. It's quite the fort. New event nearby. Oh, this is the one that we almost finished? Yeah. That'll kill some time. This is the one that snuck up on us when we were in this guy's um, shop. Adrenaline surging! Bears remaining. So I can just let that auto attack and it just kind of does its own thing. Nice. Bear. Kill the bears. I thought I'd... Is it going down or going up? Oh, that was cool. I jumped over the fence. It's a lot of bears. Wow, what was that? Here I am, lumbering around with an axe and a sword, and somebody brings a gun and a golem. Inventory is full. Alright, inventory. Sweet. Good for the tip, thank you. We're getting there. We're getting the hang of things. Um. So did I... Did I complete that? Like, where do I go to turn in the thing? Or did I not complete it in time? See, that's what I mean. There's no text afterwards. And I don't know what remnants are. Right, but it didn't... Like, where does it tell me that it completed it? There's no turn in for events. Did we not just talk about the fact that if we, if there's an orange thing, we have to turn in the quest's items before the event disappears or I don't get credit? 
this is what I mean. Like, this kind of stuff should all be a lot clearer in game. The part where it flashes on the right side with a big metal, and then the XP flies across the screen in your XP bar. Yeah, that is not obvious when you're in the middle of fighting. Wait a minute. What am I doing? I'm walking like a chump. Not the mount that you'd expect to have in the snowy taiga woods of Norn country. <laughs> but, oh wow, that was cool. You kind of give the reins a tug? That's neat. I've heard people say that the animations in this are fantastic for the mounts. That's really cool. Nice. I mean, I look a little bit heavy for the guy, <laughs> but... That's really cool. And I guess he just <laughs> magically goes away. I always found that funny about MMOs. Um... From what I can gather, if it's an event where you need to collect something, that's when you need to turn something in. So the Daliac meat was a turn in and the bears was just like a kill them until they're gone. He's in your pocket for later. Nice. Okay. I do really need to log off. Uh, I'm trying to keep these streams to three, three and a half hours. So uh, I appreciate everyone being here. Thank you ever so much. It is uh, a fun game to explore. I appreciate patience while I'm muscling through UIs and things that I'm not used to. I did play WoW for uh, 10 years, a long, long time ago. And I did play a little bit of, of um, Guild Wars 2 back in like 2012 or 13. I got to like level five. So we've already well surpassed where I went. Uh, on my own. I was a char... I think I would have been a char warrior at the time. But anyway, uh, we are going to pass you on to somebody else playing Guild Wars 2. Hopefully they also have drops enabled. Uh, hopefully you've got some drops today from watching me. I'm going to try to stream again tomorrow. Uh, watch my Twitter, at Joel Duggan, for when that's going to be. Uh, more than likely mid-afternoon. It depends on how much work I get done. Uh, you can also check out other things like the Spawn Chunks podcast, which is a Minecraft podcast. Brand new episode came out today. Uh, we talked about Minecraft skins and Minecraft mods. And we answered some email as well. I've got a new episode of the Citadel Cafe that just recorded today. That's not going to be edited and published until tomorrow. Uh, Ryan Murphy and I talked about Guild Wars 2. We talked about Halo Infinite and we talked about... Xenoblade Chronicles 3. That was the game that he was playing. Uh, so that should be a fun podcast for y'all to listen to. They're both free. So check them out at their respective websites. Uh, Cosmic's got the links in the chat for you there. TheSpawnChunks.com and TheCitadelCafe.com uh, If you're interested in supporting the stream, uh, thank you ever so much for being here. Check out Patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. That's where you can uh, join the Discord uh, and support the stream in the process. Or if you like uh, Twitch subs and Twitch bits and all that kind of good stuff is, is an excellent way to do that too. I truly appreciate it. You all are reasons why I get to do this. Uh, and especially during the week <laughs> when I wouldn't normally have the opportunity. So uh, thanks ever so much. Uh, we're going to pass you on to the user that I do not remember the name of. Uh, Zezer recommended them. Hold on. Let me see if I can scroll up and find it real fast. Uh, Matty Narmus. We're sending you on to Matty Narmus. I will see you folks tomorrow. Have a fantastic evening. Bye for now.